This series of surface analysis tutorials is brought to you by Taycan Technology UK. You can download bags from our official website. So welcome to this, this next presentation on the BEX software from Taycan Technologies. Uh, this presentation is going to be about uh, two things. It's firstly about generating surfaces. So we're going to create uh, surface models. And the second thing that we're going to do is we're then going to look at the three-dimensional roughness of surfaces. So that's a, two things in, in one video. So first of all, the surface generation. Uh, in fact, the surface that you can see in front of you here, the one millimeter by one millimeter surface, is a synthetic surface. It's not a measured surface. Uh, and what I'm going to do to start this off is to show you how we do that. Um, so first of all, let's go to Tools. Click the Tool button here. And if we go down, we can see we've got two pretty advanced features here. We've got data registration of surfaces, uh, which will be the subject of another video presentation. And beneath that, we've got surface generation using the autocorrelation method. So if we just click that, what that does is it opens a, a box for us to enter values into. First of all is the number of points. It's going to create a square data set. So we just enter the, the number of points in one axis. So here, 501. We enter the grid spacing. So 501 with the 2 micron grid spacing is actually 1 millimeter. We've got then two key parameters which generates the nature of the surface. First of all is the autocorrelation length. That, gen that gives us a parameter which shows you the closeness of two um, parameters, two, two data points next to each other. Um, so it's a random surface, but this is a very fundamental value that gives us the nature of the surface, which uh, gives us the type of image on the right. The next value is the magnitude of roughness. Now that's simply the uh, RMS value of the surface here. So you can see in this box it's currently set as default to 0.1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to 2 microns. And I'm going to add that to the existing surfaces uh, which we've got. Now I don't want these other surfaces. These were default values so I'm just going to remove that one and remove this one so we're just left with the surface that we've created. If we did include the, the two previous values, we would end up with an even more complex surface with multiple wavelengths and multiple roughness characteristics, but that would be for another day. What we can now do is we can take this surface, if we wish, and export that into some finite element package, or we can create a surface that we can then use in BEX. So let's simply do that. We just click OK. And what will happen is that will generate a new surface with a roughness shown here. So now you can see a very nice image of the surface. You can see it's still one millimeter by one millimeter. And you can see the roughness now has got a magnitude of two, two microns. Well, how do we know that's correct? Well, first of all, we could just simply look at the 2D form here. So if I click 2D form and I look at the cross section, here you can see Let's put the cross section on in the image above using this button at the top here. Uh, you can see that here's a typical rough surface. And if we were to look at the PA value, because it's the, the raw value, and in particular the PQ, not the PA, but the, the RMS value, you can see here it's 2.087. So it's not exactly two microns. That's because this line is just one line across the whole surface. What we've done is we've created a surface where the overall roughness of the surface as a 3D parameter is 2 microns. And you'll see that because if we, if we go to the top-down view here and we move this, we've got a slightly different value for PA. It's now 1.906 here. Sorry, PQ, 1.906. So what we're interested... So we, we, we've demonstrated here the first aspect. We've generated a random surface. The next aspect is we wish to calculate the three-dimensional roughness of this surface. So to do that, we need to switch to the, the third tab here, 3D form. So let's click 3D form. Uh, what we can now see is there's no information in here. Uh, we don't need to do the 2D cross-section, so let's remove the section. Let's go back to our conventional view of the surface here. And let's see what the three-dimensional roughness is. Now, this is very simple. 
Because the surface is nominally flat, we don't need to apply any Gaussian filters to this. It's a nominally flat surface which has been synthetically created. All we need to do is to take the value relative to the zero mean or the mean z. It's going to give us the same value. So let's do the mean z. Let's apply that to the surface. And beneath that, you can see a list of S calculations. So this is the key part of what we're doing in this presentation. Uh, we want to just see what the S values are. So first of all, the SA value is 1.596 microns. That's for the whole of the surface. The second parameter is exactly 2 microns. And you recall the surface that we generated, we defined the surface as having a roughness of Two microns. So here you can see uh, we've actually used the SQ ISO calculation and the SQ value for the surface is exactly two microns. Uh, the other parameters here, uh, you, you will need to look at your, uh, your text, your metrology text, uh, but there are lots of parameters here uh, which include things like the number of peaks, uh, the peak surfaces, the peak surface density, uh, you can see that here, that's around 6,000 peaks per, per millimetre square. And you can kind of see that in the nature of this rough surface. So that concludes this short presentation where we've demonstrated two um, quite, uh, first of all, a very unique feature, which is the generation of surfaces. Um, um, as far as we know, there are no other commercial software where packages, packages that allow you to do this. And the capability of doing that leads to some quite exciting surfaces. And I'll, I'll just give you another example of that as I finish off. And the second thing we've done is we've now used the three-dimensional surface uh, without the need for a Gaussian filter. We could apply a Gaussian filter, and that's being shown in another lecture on um, the surface roughness of dental surfaces using X-ray data. Uh, and what we've done here is because we've generated the surface, we had a nominally flat surface to finish. If I just fin to, just to finish off, I'm just going to show you something. I'm going to go back to tools, surface generation, autocorrelation. I'm going to show you what would happen if we were to take the default values, which are already here. So this has got two autocorrelation lengths. It's got a 4 micron and a 200 micron. It's got a 0.1 RMS um, make roughness and a 2.5 micron roughness. Let's add to that the, the the two micron surface that we've just generated here, and let's see what this looks like. So I'm now going to. This is now going to be the combination of all of these. So let's click OK, and let's see what we get. So this is now processing. So it's taking three surfaces and bringing them all together to create this surface here. And now you can see there's a waviness feature of the surface, which was actually linked to the, the long autocorrelation length. Uh, and you can see there's roughness here, multiple levels of roughness. So if we were to take a cross-section through that, you can see here some waviness features, some multiple levels of roughness as well. So that's a very, uh, this is a very, obviously it's a very exciting capability in terms of understanding the nature of roughness and it's also very useful for, for, for looking at the measurement of rough surfaces. That concludes my talk. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, again, as I've said previously, if you want to download the software, it's, it's BEX. Uh, it's freely available from the TICAN technology website on a limited release um, of a duration of one month. Uh, if you'd then like to use the software, you're free to do so, but obviously you need to contact the company to make a payment for the software. Okay, thanks for listening.